Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, what a my block is in Scratch. Um, basically, a my block um, is a way you can create your own blocks in Scratch. Now, um, some people might have already saw my my block videos on EV3. Um, I'm not sure that with EV3 videos. I actually have a playlist on that. But, um, you might be wondering is that if that's the same thing with Scratch. And, matter of fact, it is. Um, so yeah, it's the, basically the same concept. But, um, in, in the EV3, I find it more confusing. Whereas in Scratch, it would be more easier to use. Because obviously, Scratch is way more easier to use than um, the EV3 milestones. So first of all, let's make a project. I'm gonna call this uh, my block tutorial. Now let's first of all make a block. Now my block um, in Python or in other most languages is basically what you call a function. A function is like a set of instructions that need to be repeated um and you don't want to write like the code over and over and over again um to do that and so basically a my block is a so it's a less fancy way of saying function so let's call this block move now um actually in my block you can actually add your own input so in this and this one I'm gonna make um in this little um um exercise thing I'm gonna I'm gonna duplicate basically the move ten steps on whatever block that is like the move number of steps. Now here let's type in You know, let's put the default value to 10, just like that. Now we have to define it, basically. What that means is that we have to, um, uh, we, we have to tell the computer what that actually means. Because we can't have like a function, like not knowing what it actually means. So in this block, we'll basically want uh, move step block. So here, yeah, let's find that. Put it here. But we can drag this. This is like a variable. But so whatever number we type in, it'll replace it. Um. So say if we type in 15 here, it'll replace that to 15. So it'll move 15 steps. Now let's test the block out. So I'm gonna. We can, we can like shove this way over because we don't really need it. Okay, and it doesn't let me do that. Okay, but that's fine. Or I can shove it in the bottom. Okay, anyways, we can, let's test it out. So if we go to my blocks, the section, we can find a block. Now, it already looks like a block, so we can, like, it's so like we made our own block, but, so, let's test it out. Now, let's get the one green flag. Click, let's move 10 steps, like the default. And, as you can see, it moves the exact same amount as 10 steps. If you want proof, we can actually get the normal 10 steps block. We can compare it. See, it's exactly the same. Well, now it's moving 10, 20 steps. But yeah. So, that's my blocks. But, um, I'm going to show you a bit more to my blocks. Because my blocks, you can make a lot of stuff using. 
mod box. Like, this is basically like a simple example of it, but like in really complex code, um, for an example, you might have seen my, um, make a platformer, um, a tutorial video, and, um, so that actually, the, the spell deck, spell Y, the initializing my block was actually a much more complex version of this. And, like, there's a lot of, you can add inputs, like the booleans, which are basically true or false, or inputs. Say, let's do this. Um, now, we can delete this. This is an example with a balloon. So now we can define a hide one. Basically, we can um, hide the thing. So how we do that, we can define it to we can get an if block. If balloon. Was true, then we hide. If the boolean is false, how I like on that, then we um show like this. Show and hide. That's like a example of a function, or well, maybe um. And even play a more simple version of this um, could be a switch, which is basically a true or false um, um, kind of block. Um, if you want to learn more about that, check my video on, on the EV3 switch block. And yeah, let, now let's test this out. You can do a lot with um, my blocks. I'm just showing you guys like simple examples of it using like these normal blocks. But you can like add a lot more to it, making your programs more simpler. And let's get the hide block. And let's do. Yeah, I don't know if they have like a. True and false. That's kind of weird, but whatever. We can still do like touching white. No, yeah, that's white. So if we we're touching color and white, it would hide. What? Okay. This, let's do a more simple one actually. Key space clasp. Let me spam in the space. Okay, I think we kind of messed up. Wait. How is it? What? If say I'm not pressing space, but I actually am, so let's try something. Let's do it repeat forever. Maybe it's not like checking the exact second. Yeah, see how it's disappearing? Oh, so what actually happened is that it disappeared for a little snippet of second. So like, like when we did the color white, actually what happened was, so I kind of messed up, um, that, what happened, it, it actually disappeared, but it was only designed for like, like a little snippet of second, um, which was too fast to record it on the screen, so you couldn't really see it, but when we put it in the forever loop, and we run that. Okay, now what's wrong with... Wait, is it like a different white? Is this like a bug or something? 
Okay, now I, I have no idea why that it's doing that. But still, at least his face looks. Yeah. So basically, that's my blocks. Um, now make sure to sub. Um, I got, I need to get to 100 subs. Like, that's my goal. And if I get to 100 subs, then I'll make like a special video about it. Like, I don't know, like a hundred subscribers special. I don't know, guys, but um, uh, make sure to sub and like, and see you in the next video, and goodbye.